Do you want to know how to get more viewers on Twitch going into 2020? Then this video is for you. Stay tuned. And for those of you that are watching this on the replay, we've got good news for you. We're going to kind of banter with those that actually came in live and uh, the two of us are going to kind of catch up just a little bit. Uh, uh, do me a favor, go down into the, the uh, description down below. We're going to have some timestamps there for you. You can actually jump right forward to the actual content. This is what we're going to be doing every Friday starting next week at 5 p.m. There's actually going to be a new time at 5 p.m. 12.30 p.m. hasn't been working out for everybody, so we're going to be testing out a new time. If you're liking a specific time or prefer a time on Fridays, let us know inside the comments. So, uh, dude, we uh, we had to call an audible, so it's kind of yep. fun. We can let's let's go ahead and share this since it's off the Life Twitch in topic. Ohio. <laughs> yeah, so um, I got up today. Normally, I go over and I pick him up over at his house. It's like right down the road from us and such. But I got up to discover snow covering and the streets ice. and ice, and I'm like, no. There's there's number one rule is I do not drive, even if it's snowing out. It's not even sticking. I just don't drive because people are maniacs in Ohio, and they're just they're just they're just nuts. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he stayed there. And so now we just kind of just called it, you know, uh, just did something on the fly. And we were like, hey, let's go ahead and let's let's just do this. So we're doing it through Zoom. Zoom, which I have to admit, I hate. I, di I didn't mind it. We did a mastermind last night with Dan Courier and his brother. I didn't mind that because, you know, we're just jibber jab talking shop. Yeah. But for live streams, uh, Skype. It, it does drop it down to 720p. All, all right, hey, yeah. dude, uh, before we get too far, we'll, we'll come back to this. We'll put a pen into it. Uh, Eileen Smith says, hi, guys. This time's yep, perfect for me. I'm sorry, Eileen. We're going to be dipping away from 1230 to see if it will yep. work better at 5 p.m. Especially with 5 p.m., it's kind of nice because when we, you know, Eileen, when you get onto a live stream and you put your all into it uh, like we do, you get exhausted afterwards. So I know as soon as I'm done here, I'm ready for a nap. Um, right. so we're going to be pushing it to 5 PM. So we get all of our recording done for upcoming, um, pre-recorded videos come say next week. We're going to see how it works. If it flops, then we'll come back to the 1230 time slot. Uh, but we are going to move it for sure after 5 PM. Stay, stay tuned to the community tab just in case. Cause I mean, we might do like 515 because going on the hour sometimes is a little off, but, uh, keep wheeler books. Yep. Happy Friday to you too, brother. Happy Friday and Frontline, our ever faithful follower. We appreciate you popping in here, Frontline. <laughs> he line. was in early, super early. Come yeah. on. Come on. I, I need, need all this. this, all this for Twitch affiliates, more average viewers. If you could recommend something for my channel, it is Frontline underscore YouTube. We actually will take a look at that uh, and just, just give a good peek at that. I think Walt is going to be able to kind of do something. We probably won't mess with doing a screen share today just because... No. Um, I have three monitors and unfortunately my third monitor is my, my yeah. actual screen, uh, my, my TV for my living room. And, and I really can't I don't see have it. my setup done yet where I do have the three monitors. We're kind of stuck with what we got. Yeah. So, uh, we'll, we'll kind of, you know, work with it, but frontline, what we'll do is, uh, maybe, uh, once we get burned through all of today's, you know, topic, uh, we'll go over, we'll take a look at yours and kind of let you know some, some areas of improvement you might need. And you know, just some of our opinions on things. And keep in mind, it's it's our opinions, and we're the we're the experts of our own opinions. Um, but I think that with how long you know Walt's been in the game, and the brief cup of coffee I've had being in the game of Twitch streaming, I feel pretty confident in, in uh, giving you some good, yeah. solid advice. Maybe we'll make that a thing at the end of the streams too. You know, uh, we'll do Q and A real quick, and then uh, maybe throw a couple channel reviews in there as far as like Twitch mix or anything that you guys want us to look at to say yeah. hey what do you think um you know because i know we kind of rushed through some of those how to set up your twitch channel or youtube channel or facebook channel videos right. you know so i know that we kind of just give you the general idea we really don't give you ideas as far as that creative concept goes right the best uh, but then again dale's creativity is totally different than mine too so yeah. i mean what he might like i might not like so on and so forth like he said our opinions are just our opinions yeah, for sure. So um, we're getting down to the last minute here, folks. So if you happen to be tuning in and you're lurking about, we definitely appreciate you tuning in for sure. I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping as we kind of go along. Hey, uh, let us know where you're from, where you're watching us, what kind of questions do you have, or and share new. this on social media. And as Walt said, if you're new, put hashtag new. 
Uh, of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about live streaming online. Super simple. Uh, we'll say that in just as soon as we get things going. Reminder, we have a new video every Monday, which that's going to be changing here soon, and Friday live videos. So the Monday is actually going to be the last Monday this next week, and then we're going to probably be bumping it to Wednesdays, the two of us are talking. But we will let you know as soon as possible. Beauty bubble in the house. It's good to see you taking my seat. Brothers, brothers, give us the lowdown. You got it, BB. We appreciate you coming on in here. Uh, do want to point out, folks, live streaming tech.site slash book. Get your hands. Point over towards your left wall. Point over towards that way. Get a copy of Walt's book, the live streaming kit. You can actually go get it on audiobook, ebook, or even print book. And share it on social media if you happen to get that. We definitely appreciate the support. All the proceeds come back to help support the channel so we can continue to give you guys good quality content. Alrighty, so we're gonna be getting right into things. So do you wanna learn how to get more viewers on Twitch? Then this video's for you, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. This is Live Streaming Tech. And if you want to learn how to stream online, super a simple, then click that subscribe button and turn that little bell notification on so you don't miss a single video or live stream. Yes, uh, for sure. So um, we used to, we were supposed to get rid of the subscribe thing, but you know, ha, we went ahead. Hey, just, habits, habits, habits. And actually habits. it was funny. I said that last week that, you know, we uh, <laughs> kind of got it, moved away from that. All right, so here's the deal. We want to talk about getting more viewers over to Twitch. And I'll tell you, it's easy to say, but far harder to do. But, you know, we've kind of put together a good list on how you can get more viewers on Twitch. So, you know, without any further ado, well, I, I want you to go ahead. Let's start it out with point number one. Okay, tip number one or point number one is build brand recognition. Now, what I mean by this is you want to have the same name across all platforms and social media. Now, that's kind of hard to do with today, everyone kind of creating these accounts on different social medias like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and so on and so forth. So it's very hard. But if you check out a website called namecheck.com and it's actually spelled N-A-M-E-C-H-K.com, you can actually type in the name that you're searching for and it will tell you if it's available on these certain platforms. The other thing, same logo. This goes for the same thing as far as the name. So for instance, if you're named Walt on Facebook and Walt on Twitch, you obviously want to have Walt on YouTube. It goes the same thing. Whatever image or brand image or logo that you're using, you want that to be same. So the thing is, is the more that you're seeing by different people, they come to relate to you on one platform. So when they bounce over to another platform, like, hey, I know that guy, he streams live on Twitch. Or, hey, I know that guy, he has videos on YouTube. And this helps you bring those communities together. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just got thrown off. There was a super chat Eileen Smith oh, just dropped. We just got a notification. It just scared the ever-loving mess out of me. <laughs> <laughs> live, no, live video. <laughs> uh, so next uh, tip, interact and engage on and outside of Twitch. All right, so here's the thing is, the algorithm on Twitch, it's just not an algorithm. It really isn't. And uh, the reason is, um, it, it just honestly, it relies a lot and heavily on how many viewers you currently have. So if you don't have anybody watching you, how can you get more people from Twitch that are on Twitch. The thing is, you're gonna have to build that tribe outside of it. So the very first thing I'm gonna recommend, and this is one that actually I, I tell all the time, Facebook groups. Oh my goodness. Even if you hate Facebook, this is something so worth looking into. I've got a ravenous, very active group of people for self-publishing. About 3,000 members I've built over the last year and a half. And the really cool thing is, Anytime I go to stream on there, I'm not streaming to a goose egg. I at least get half a dozen, if not a dozen or more, when I tell people over in the Facebook group, come on along with me. But here's the thing, if you're gonna go into a group, don't just drop in there like, hey, you know, I'm going live, and just deuce out. I see this happen too often, you have to actually be part of the community. You have to contribute. You have to be a human being. It's like showing up to a party and then you're just kind of like, you know, it's all about you. Hey, what's up? How's it going? And people are like, I don't even know who the heck this person is. So 
contribute to the community if you want to see something come back from Facebook. Now, a lot of people are like, how much do I need to contribute? It doesn't have to be much. A like here, a like there, a comment, even sharing a good post. Um, and it doesn't mean sharing stuff that's by you. Join Discord groups, forums, gaming groups if you're a gamer and be active just like the other ones. Might I recommend, one of my favorite avenues is Twitter and one of Walt's favorite avenues is Twitter and Discord. It's not just about you though. Again, you gotta be active and responding to others on the platform. And here's the other thing. Build a network of other people that are doing this. So if you're trying to do Twitch alone and you don't know any other Twitch streamers, then you're going to have to get out from behind your keyboard and get into other people's lives and start to shake some hands and kiss some babies and make some friends. Because you trying to do it alone, it's going to be a long, lonely road. Whereas when you lock arms with other people, think about what you can accomplish. And there's this nifty little thing. It's called Raid. And I know that with Walt, he's raided my channel a few times. I've raided his channel a few times. The nice thing is you go from, say, a dozen people watching you live to all of a sudden someone closes down their uh, stream and they raid you over there. And you got a couple dozen people or three dozen people. And it becomes a, just a huge party. And other people start to get exposed to who you are as a Twitch streamer. So um, listen, but remember, don't always assume it's going to, to be reciprocal, okay? Don't just assume like, oh, I just met Walt. Yeah, Walt's gonna go ahead and start bringing in some raids. Get to know him, get to know the person first before you start to expect things from them. Might I say, give more than you take. Give more than you take. Walt, you got the next one. Okay, what are we on? We're on number three, right? Yep. Yes. Use SEO on Twitch. Now, those of you who are new to the streaming game or video content creating game or anything as far as internet goes, SEO stands for search engine optimization. So as Dale said earlier, Twitch is absent of an algorithm, but got good news for you guys. Google is still looking. Google watches everything. Oh, so yeah. here's the thing. We want to tickle Google a little bit and we want to say, hey, there's something going on over here on Twitch. Even though Twitch doesn't have an algorithm, Google does. So Google loves channel descriptions. So that's the thing. When you're making your Twitch channel or tweaking it or upgrading it, that's the thing. So if you have it already set up, you might want to go back and you might want to look at your channel description. What you want to do is you actually want to make sure those keywords are present in your stream. So for instance, if you're a podcaster, what do you type, talk about during your podcast? Are you an IRL streamer or a creative streamer? What are you creating? What is it focused around? For instance, Dale's a self-publisher. If he decided to go on there and talk about self-publishing and writing, he's going to use those such keywords. That way it wakes up Google and says, hey, if you have somebody looking for writing tips, you know, and during a live stream or even the videos on demand, send them my way. Now, here's the thing. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy and do what's called keyword stuffing. Don't just go into your description. You have to remember you want this to be read by a human being as well, not just Google. So yep. the next thing, Google loves panel text. I know, right? I just found this one out. This is totally new to me. I knew about the description but I did not know about the panel. So if you've seen our previous videos where Dale shows you how to uh, make panels and how to use them on Twitch, you might want to go back and check out this video. But We've got a link down inside the, um, inside the comments below. I sorry to interrupt you on that one. That's okay. So here's the thing. When you're putting text in those, once again, Google's watching and it's going to send that out for people. So remember those keywords, try to get them in there. If you're a game streamer and you're all about Fortnite, you better be making sure that you have Fortnite typed in your description and Fortnite typed in somewhere in those. But that's at the same time too. You have to remember there's thousands of people doing Fortnite content, hundreds oh, of yeah. thousands. So find something specific about Fortnite, put maybe a unique Fortnite gameplay, you know, keep stringing those keywords out further and further and get more descriptive or more niche or niche in it uh, to uh, basically that way when somebody's typing that in Google, they can find that. Google loves the video on demand descriptions. Actually, Dale, we just talked about that recently, did we not? Oh yeah, yeah. Some people were shocked when we talked about how, how to, to really get it dialed in, almost like a YouTube video because so, it becomes yeah. more discoverable. Yeah. 
So once again, in the description, whatever that video on demand or highlight is about, you want to be as precise and specific as possible on what that is about. So don't just put in there highlights of Fortnite kills or uh, come chill with me. You don't want anything like that. You want no one searching come chill <laughs> specific and those details to wake up that Google album. Of course, there's experts out there that are SEO experts, and those are the ones you probably want to pay attention to, and they could probably mm -hmm. give you a little bit more, or maybe we'll do a future video on it where Dale can really give you the lowdown on that. The other thing too is Google gives two rotten bananas about your titles. They don't, Google does not care about your stream title. It doesn't care about the title on your VODs or your highlights. It does not look at them. Titles are just for humans and yourself. At the same time, you wanna be creative and unique when you're titling your live streams and your videos on demand and whatnot, or your highlights. But at the same time, Google's not gonna give you any love on that. So it's all about descriptions. You want to have those descriptions, whether it's your channel, your text panels or your panels, and your VODs. Yeah. All right, Dale, take it away, tip four. So the next one is going to be something I always say about any walk of business. That's gonna be be consistent. You stream for two hours on Mondays and Fridays, keep it that way. You notice that when we went into this live stream, we said, okay, normally we're doing Fridays at 12.30, but we're gonna shift that because we have to shift those expectations and let people know hey, we're gonna stay consistent at that time because we want to see how that works out. So I'd recommend the same for you, is if you're going to really expect people to keep tuning in, you're gonna to have to set expectations and stay consistent with that. So it's gonna require somewhat of a schedule. I know some of you out there that are probably like, oh man, this feels like a job. Well, if you want to actually get more viewers, you're gonna to have to treat it like a business. So don't use the excuse, I don't feel like streaming today, treat it like a job look your your bosses at your nine to five job will probably lose their mind because you decided not to come into work because you didn't feel like working today so the same is going to hold true if you're going to go into this and you expect to get more viewers then you're going to have to treat it like a profession uh, don't just tweet when you're going live use twitter is another way to engage viewers and others when not streaming. So stay active. Again, we kind of said Twitter and I'll tell you, I mean, you know for a fact, I've landed so many sponsorships for my self-publishing with Dale brand by way of Twitter. And I'm telling you folks, this is thousands of dollars, all right? Sorry to flex on you on this one, but I pull in a decent amount of revenue from sponsorship deals all because I stay active on Twitter and I'm not just me. No, I'm staying engaged. I look at other people's content. I try to say add a boy or add a girl when someone's streaming. I try to pop in when they're streaming. I try to really get their back and I try to be genuine. Actually, I don't just try. I am genuine when I try to get connected with people. So um, that is really, I can't nail this one home enough. If you expect to get consistent results you're gonna have to put in consistent efforts Walt, what's the next one this is one of your favorite ones okay this is number five this is the last one but don't leave because we got a special treat for you and that is use tools like twitch strike once again we did a video on this and it kind of people kind of went eh, and they blew it off or whatever matter of fact i think i got a couple <laughs> thumbs down on that one yeah they're like Shh, i'm telling you now twitch strike isn't the most perfect tool because it takes an hour to update each time but the thing is is use that twitchstrike.com is where you want to go to and use that if you're a game streamer this is going to tell you what is hot and what is not now you all are sitting there thinking fortnite is the hottest i probably should go with fortnite and actually it is quite the opposite and twitch strike will tell you the reasons why so stay away from oversaturated games until you have a good base following so for instance I used to love playing Fortnite. I loved me some Fortnite. But the thing was, was I was always trying to gain new viewers. And I knew anytime I played with my fellow streamers or buddies online while streaming Fortnite, I knew I wasn't going to pick up any new viewers. Not true. All my older viewers and uh, concurrent viewers would come into the channel and hang out and probably even play with me. But I wasn't going to gain anyone necessarily new because that game was oversaturated. So find a good niche or niche that isn't dead or oversaturated. So what I'm talking about that is find a game maybe that has came out a year or two ago that is still popular and has a community built around it 
but when you go on Twitch, you don't see thousands, if not hundreds of streamers streaming it. You only see 10. Those are the ones you want to focus in on. Now, don't force it. Obviously, it's kind of like what Dale was saying about, you know, doing the social media thing. Be genuine about it. You have to like the game. You have to, you know, be involved in it because viewers can sense fake a mile away so that's oh, yeah. the thing don't be fake when it comes to it and make sure you're going to enjoy this content so in other words don't find a game and say okay there's only 10 people streaming it walt said i should stream it if you don't enjoy it don't do it yeah if you can't twitch fool strike- yourself don't try to fool anybody else <laughs> yeah and as i said previously twitch strike is a good tool to show you what game is too hot for you to be streaming or a game that's too cold because you kind of want to find that medium spot. You don't want to find a game that has zero streamers streaming it because most likely you have zero viewers looking for that game. And once again, there's some games out there too that might only have one or two people streaming it. That's pretty much a dead giveaway there as well. So you want to find that happy medium. Okay, on the count of three, Dale, ready? One, two, three. Bonus! Bonus. Oh Oh. yeah. So now it's time to get to this one. And of course, this is my wheelhouse. We're going to talk about start a YouTube channel. Um, Boy, you see a lot of people succeeding on another level. Uh, The likes of someone like a Harris Heller of Alpha Gaming. He is, he grew a YouTube channel, but was able to- Before that. Flourish. Before that, he was buying. Yeah. And he was flourishing on Twitch because he built awareness of Twitch through his YouTube channel. Uh, another great, um, another great example. Let's see here. Would be Kit Boga. I talked about Kit Boga this past week. He scams the scammers. Um, he has a highlight reel of all of his like scam calls, and he puts them over on his YouTube channel. And he drives the traffic back over to Twitch, and people will watch him for upwards of eight hours at a time. Um, let me think here. Um, Wild for Games. Uh, Wild for Games is another one. Man, the guy crushes it on YouTube and he just annihilates it on Twitch. So this kind of just shows, you know, really think about this. It's, it's far easier to be discovered on YouTube because it has a sophisticated algorithm and because people are looking for solutions to their problems. And you might be thinking, oh, but, you know, how is me watching someone's top 10 headshots from Fortnite all that great? Uh, well, chances are they want to be entertained. That's their, their problem. You've got the solution for that. So just think about how you can create some micro content over on YouTube and then direct and build awareness of your presence on Twitch because it's going to be so much easier to grow it on YouTube than it will be on Twitch. Grinding on Twitch is just no longer a thing, all right? Those days are long gone, folks. You just can't grind it out and expect people to show up. Sorry. I hate to use this term, saturated, but... If we're not going to call it saturated, we're going to call it crowded. It is a crowded space. There's a lot of noise and you aren't going to be able to just go and grind it out and people are going to appreciate your hustle. Make one video per week on YouTube. That's what I'm just implore you. Make one video. Make it simple. Anywhere from say three to 10 minutes long. Super simple. Get it to where it's something that relates to what you do on Twitch if you can. That way it draws in more attention. So if you're a gamer and you've got a game that you can annihilate on it, do something that's five to 10 minutes long on that particular game, really get it down, edit it really nice and good, get it up there, stay consistent. Remember that little rule, man. I I just, I I tell you, that's gonna be the thing. YouTube and Twitch and Mixer and Facebook and everywhere else, consistency is the key that will unlock your success. Okay, and what should they be doing, Dale, as far as the very call to action, the beginning of the video or the end of the video? What should they be doing? When it comes to actually, you know, you're going to want to play around with this. Now, there's a few golden rules. What I typically try to do is anytime I go into a video is tell people what they're going to expect, all right? Do it right out the gate. Do not wait. You notice inside our video, the very first thing we do is we tell you what you're going to expect. You can put a bumper there if you want to. That's fine. It doesn't have to happen. If you're like, oh, that's too much stuff for me to have to fool with, tell people what to expect. Who are you? Why should they watch your content? Then insert that call to action. Hey, if you really enjoy such and such, then make sure you hit subscribe and turn the bell notification on. Oh, by the way, visit me at twitch.tv slash Walt. 
to where I actually do live streams every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m., which, by the way, folks, don't look for Walt. Yeah, He's don't not look doing for it at that yeah, time. Yeah, it's not me. That's not um, me. <laughs> try to put it at the beginning. It seems needy, and I know it seems counterintuitive because you're like, oh, man, like, I, I don't know. That seems real salesy. It seems pushy. Just make it simple. Tell them what's in it for them. Don't just go out and say, uh, welcome to my channel. Just subscribe, turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss a video. No, you're not telling them why you should subscribe, you know, tell them why they should. So for instance, we said at the very beginning, it's live streaming tech. If you want to learn more about live streaming online, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on, so that way you don't miss a video. Now, if for some reason we want to push the traffic to Twitch, we may want to change our verbiage. Hey, we're live streaming tech. By the way, we also have another channel at twitch.tv slash live streaming tech where we do a live broadcast Monday, Wednesday, Friday at X time, and we discuss this, this, and that. We will see you then, and then go into your content. And it doesn't hurt to finish up your video with a call to action. I might not recommend stick with one call to action. Don't tell them like, subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment, share, scratch your belly, call your mom, write a book. Like, and no. the sad thing about it is I've actually seen YouTubers, big and small, do this to where they're asking for subscribe. They're asking you to click the bell notification. Too many options are like, going to overwhelm. They're asking you to share it. And then they're saying, follow them on Instagram. And then they're telling me to follow them on Twitter. And I'm just like, holy crap. And then by the time they've gone through all this, I forgot what the damn video was about that I was watching. So guess what I do? I click off and go watch another video. Yeah, you, you, you got to be very specific about that one thing you want as far as the call to action. So if it's important that you grow your Twitch following, might I recommend lead with it, close with it. Lead with it, close with it. That is the most important thing. So if you really want to see that, so for instance, I, I know I need to take my own advice because I don't have the biggest following on Twitch. I probably need to push it a lot more, but at least I have these little nice little nudges here to let people know about when, you know, about where I'm at when it comes to Twitch. So um, I think that if I wanna see more growth, uh, chances are I'm probably gonna to have to start saying some more because there's some people, for some reason, the people that see it on YouTube are sometimes still not aware of Twitch. So you gotta kind of educate your audience and let them know, okay, what's the difference between Twitch and YouTube? And as you and I have always expressed, you know, Twitch is a live streamers platform. Well, let's go over to the uh, live chatters again. Eileen Smith, My you favorite. are sweet. We really appreciate the uh, $10 super chat. It is the uh, biggest money Walt seen yet to date. <laughs> you threw, and, and, and you, threw, uh, you threw Dale off. Well, it's the biggest money I've seen on YouTube. Yeah, today. we need to turn those alerts down, <laughs> man. We ain't gonna talk about how big money I've seen on Twitch. So, I mean, uh, half my rig is paid by Twitch. But, uh, yeah. no, Eileen, thank you. I appreciate that very much. It yeah, threw Dale off it. his game, so I couldn't help but scream in his ear over it, too. I was like, oh, oh. oh. He, he broke, so I got to break him, Go too. Go back and watch watch it, dude. Like, like yeah. we need to turn our alerts down for sure. <laughs> we'll loud, do a full video loud. on how to turn down alerts. No. Because the alerts was like, bam! I'm like, oh! <laughs> well... Um, she before she threw uh, that tenor at us, uh, she did have a question. She says, when you reach the payout threshold on Twitch, how long does it take them to issue a payment? That depends, Eileen, on yep. whether or not you have it set up via uh, directly into your bank account or paper check. I know uh, initially when I had my first Twitch payment or payout, um, it I had it done and checked because I wanted a copy of it. I wanted to frame it, you know, yeah. kind of like the whole first dollar thing on your business. Um, and that took about a month and a half, uh, for me to get after the payout. So, um, Dale, you can probably break it down more as far as it, cause it works the same way as Amazon does, as far as the payment yeah. process goes, go ahead and talk us. It through. actually, I think it actually changed more recently this past year. I know as a minimum, it's 30 days after the close of a month. So in January's pay, you will see in March. Um, February's pay you'll see in April rolling forward, but I think actually it, it changed to 14 days after the close. They of the shrunk month. it down. Yeah. So basically they started giving affiliates the same as what partners were getting. They were getting that, uh, quicker payout time versus what we were getting initially. So, um, the other thing too, though, is, is it, you're still stuck with, unfortunately that hundred dollar, you have to hit that hundred dollar threshold first before they're willing to pay out. So in other words, so say you ended January at 99.99 cents or whatever, you know, $99 and 99 cents. Then unfortunately you're going to, and now here's the thing, it does roll over into the next month, yeah. but then once you hit that hundred threshold, 
then they pay out, you know, whenever the next payout session is. Yep. Um, yep. And actually, I think uh, if you go into uh, the uh, TOS, the TOS will explain it a bit further. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I, it's it seems about right. I know I got I got a like a big check the other day, and I was like, hey, all right, Twitch, love me some Twitch. Got it. Woohoo! It took me three years to hit the payout, so I can wait another month. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I know I know your pain, Eileen. I know your pain for sure. But uh, you know, hey, it's at least we're having fun in the process, right? Hey, Walt. Um, it, this this is how we do like stuff on live streaming. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and correct him on camera, like when he does his mics in the wrong spot. Move to your left. <laughs> Move to your left. Somehow you 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 just slowly gravitated as we've been doing. <laughs> I did. I did. Well, it's because uh, my oldest son brought me up a. Uh, let's see if I can get that in frame. He brought that up in me, so I had to stop and kind of reach over, and it's been sitting over on that side of the table. So I noticed I've been kind of scooting closer and closer to the food. Sorry gotcha. about that. Keith Wheeler says, give more than you take. Great tip for life. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. And be genuine. Uh, like Gail said, be genuine. Yeah. Uh, if it feels forced, don't. Yeah, and uh, here's the thing. The thing. And, um, I want to kind of give a little bit of advice, and I know you'll probably piggyback off what I just said here to Frontline. Frontline, I'm sure you're watching this either now or you're watching on the replay. Advice I would give to you is don't be in a rush to get an affiliate because Eileen has been on Twitch for easily over a year. Um I've been on for three years and I'm going to tell you this, that we're not really making a substantial amount. Cause you I mean, you hear her, she's now just finally going to be able to get a check after a few years of being on there. Um, don't be in a rush to become an affiliate. Yeah. I would it's say not like be in a rush. Get affiliate, all the viewers come rushing in. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just don't be in a uh, rush to do anything. Way. What I would say is if you're going to make any priorities, like prioritize towards taking care of the people who do come and see you, you know, and trying to connect with people and making some real, like, actual bonds with people. There's actually a Facebook group for Twitch streamers I'm in. I'm forgetting the name off the top of my head. It's really good. And there's actually some people in there that might have a similar niche to yours, Frontline. So get connected with other people and ask for help. Sometimes asking for help. Like, and I'm not saying ask for more viewers. Be like, hey, I need help. Come yeah, bring more viewers. Do that. No, ask for yeah. help. Like, you know, something as simple as, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this stream. I kind of wonder, like, does anybody, can you give me tips about my camera or can you give me tips on the best game or, because sometimes when people can offer help, they become a bit more invested in you. So if you went over and you'd ask for advice from Walt, Walt might actually go in and peek on your channel. I know you've done it a time or two for our good friend, Jess, Jessica Havoc, the uh, pro wrestler. And yeah. she's asked so many times and you're like, you're usually shaking your head. You're like, Jessica, what are you doing? <laughs> But yeah. the nice thing and I've is, I've actually had uh, back when I was live streaming very consistently, um, and that was why I agreed to do live streaming tech with you because I would have my stream interrupted by so many people, and I and I like to help people. I'm genuine when it comes to that. Um, but I would go to their Twitch page and they wouldn't have nothing in it but a name, and I'm like, why are you having me look at a page that has absolutely nothing in it? And I would literally start to kind of almost get enraged during my live stream because it's like you just stopped me from doing what I was doing to look at what, and you don't have anything there. Okay, so um, speaking of, I know Frontline had asked uh, for a little bit of help uh, early on. Do you think you can go over to twitch.tv slash frontline underscore YT and see if you can offer some, some advice here as we um, get towards the uh, home stretch here of our live broadcast? Yeah, let me I'm look gonna pull it up quick. on my end here as well. And anybody that's watching this on here, if you want to give some some feedback, please remember no trolling, uh, constructive criticism. Tell them, you know, tell them what they're doing right, and tell them what they're, you know, what they can probably improve on. And that's the thing too. If you want uh, these these type of validations, um, hang on. Thank you. The volume. Um, if you want these types of validations, and you don't want to wait for our Friday live streams, you can join our Facebook group. And there's a lot more streamers. It's slowly building, but get on in there. Um, it's always awesome. And it, that's the thing, too. Even if you have people that are, he's hosting somebody right now on my end. Uh, yeah, but, I see uh, how, uh, hosting as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, streamers that stream on YouTube and Mixer, and I mean, they're going to give you the same kind of input that you're looking for as far as Twitch goes. They might not stream on Twitch or be familiar with it, but they know what looks right and what looks wrong and then mm -hmm. also to remember it's just opinions again too so let me look here uh, okay, good good so, branding from youtube yeah. over into uh twitch Correct. i see that the front line Correct. logo is there mm -hmm. yellow's a good color by the way yellow yes. really pops and such 
And it's um, a circle too. Yeah, I like if, the circle thing. If you are, by the way, uh, I see this person that's being hosted and such. Uh, this is awesome, fantastic. If you're the type of streamer frontline that your your mug is going to be shown on here, you're using a camera on your broadcasts, might I recommend use this as your brand. Um, it's great to have a logo, but what's even better, people buy into faces more than they do brands uh, and logos and things like that. So Hey, look, if, and who, look who's following his stream. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I just want to hit follow on there. Um, nice. So yeah, that's going to be the very first knee-jerk reaction. Um, I really do like the very first panel you have here about me and YouTube subscribe me. Um, I would say kill the me part because all you mm -hmm. need to do is say YouTube subscribe. So if you can go back into yep. those graphic assets, get rid of the me and just put YouTube subscribe. People understand subscribe yeah. me. It just, that's, it, it sounds disjointed. Now let me back up of the about me part, all personal info. Um, thanks for tuning in. I try to stream on weekends and when I can on weekdays, I mostly stream call of duty, uh, mobile. Okay. So once again, um, go to, or what we're talking about, I do believe it was uh, tip number three. Uh, in this video where you want to kind of, you, you, it's once again, you want to get Google's attention. So go ahead and give a little bit more information in there. Um, as far as the, if you're streaming random times, don't even put it in there. Uh, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. Um, if you are going to put it in there, just put, I stream random times. Don't be like, I stream on weekends and when I can on weekdays. Uh, if you stream on weekends, what times can I see you on weekends? Remember, I might live in a totally different time zone as you. So, you know, hit us up whether you're Eastern time, Pacific time, Central time, or if you're uh, in the UK, uh, give us a GMT on that um, uh, on that time that I can look at. And then uh, get a little bit more in detail. I, I stream mostly Call of Duty mobile, okay? Um, you know? get a, get a little bit more in depth. I know it's, it, it's going to be kind of hard to do, but you know, is there a certain type of, uh, setup that you like to play while playing call of duty mobiles or a certain type of weapon that you really specifically like? Um, are you more attracted to mobile games in general versus PC games? You know, get in there, get in there, work those keywords a little bit. Um, just a real quick pause here. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to get to the chat here in just a moment. We want to make sure we're thorough here with the uh, mm -hmm. rundown on uh, the channel here. So I see the support me. Um, I, I like the fact you say support me. Tip. tip. Tip sounds better than donate. If yep. you're not a charity, don't put donate on it. I, I, I right. like to say tips. Um, that's something I learned from good friend Ashney Christ. Uh, she talks about that on hers. She's like, yeah, if you're not a charity, don't call it donate. Yeah. One follow the stream. So there you go, uh, Frontline. That's great. I like that panel. Uh, the countdown panel. If you're going to have it, use it. Um, so, so true. Yeah. Schedule those streams. So, yeah. Well, no, no. That, that, that countdown, well, yeah, he's not using the countdown part. So they're probably just using it for the cheers and the subs yeah. and all that good stuff. Here's the thing. If you're not already affiliate, then don't really get hung up on that too much. No. As far as countdowns, there's plenty of other countdowns I like uh stream elements don't get me wrong and dale's a fanboy stream elements as well oh yeah um, but there's other we're currently um, using obs.live <laughs> yeah there's there's other um uh panel elements that you can use uh that is just solely a countdown uh like I, for my channel i have one that that's all it shows in that panel is when my next stream is or when i'm going live next so until you make affiliate um and once again like dale said don't rush into affiliate um the only reason why I actually, I think I was kind of grandfathered in, like when affiliates came out. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you were. Actually... I was like, you got affiliate. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did nothing. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was like when I got monetized on YouTube. It was before yeah, was like, the yeah, change. Right, and then I by the time nothing. they changed, I was already like, I'm like, oh, I'm already past the, the, the yeah. uh, threshold. And, I'll, and I'm going to admit this uh, real quick. I'm not going to vouch how much money I've made, but I've made way more in donations than I ever have in bits and cheers so i'm not saying you know you know go to your viewers and say hey don't cheer to me or don't subscribe to me uh once you do make affiliate and say you know donate only but it just so happened once again uh i was in the game before they came out with the affiliate program i wasn't big enough to be a partner so and it's just kind of like my viewers just kind of knew that uh i'd rather have the tips versus uh, the cheers and subs because all that money builds up. I sit on it and then I upgrade my stream and whatever through that way. So uh, Eileen, um, which, you know, are we, are we putting a pin or are we uh, putting a fork in this one here for Frontline? Yep. Frontline we're putting the good. fork on this one in there. I don't want to yeah. beat it up too much. I'd say, yeah, Frontline but, uh, at this point, sure. like if there's one thing I would suggest, everything looks pretty good to me, um, just get a schedule. 
put a schedule together. Even if it's one time per week and you just intermittently stream on other times, that's fine. But at least get one stream that is you're going to be there and you're going to be reliable and people can count on you. Even if no one shows up for the first few months, do it. Just, just do it. Put the countdown in there so that way it counts down to it. Uh, there are a few times when if I just, I'm going, I'm scrolling through and I see a countdown timer and I see something coming pretty soon, I remind myself by hitting a follow and turning notifications on so I don't miss it. Um, but yes, good job overall frontline. Keep it up. Um, it, it just don't, don't be in a rush. Trust me. It's not the biggest, you know, if there's no glamor, you're not going to have sponsorships thrown at you right out the door and people yeah, aren't going to assault your, your content. Bits. Yeah, yeah, focus, yeah, focus on, on good content, content and, and being consistent. And uh, our tips and like I said, get out there, uh, build that community of yours. You're okay. not going to get it just by sitting out there. Eileen says, Dale, you mentioned reruns in the last stream. It took me a week to find the link to start them. I think when Twitch updated the dashboard, they forgot to add a link. Luckily, I saved it. Yeah, uh, so to get into it, and I'm sorry, I've got to verbally walk everybody through this because of how my rig set up today. Um, maybe we can do screen shares in a future broadcast. We have to be separated. Um, but you're going to want to go into your Twitch dashboard. On the right-hand side, you'll click Video Producer. And from the Video Producer section, it actually might even be Dashboard. Now I'm confused. Now, now Eileen's is like, you don't know where to find it. <laughs> um, you know what? That sounds like a video, brother. Yeah, yeah, finding the reruns, finding the reruns. You know, uh, the new dashboard's awesome. I really do like the new Twitch yep. dashboard, and it's cleaner. Um, it's a little easier to navigate. Let me see if I can peek in here real quick so I can give it a, a solid, because I know reruns are somewhere accessible near the video producer. Bear with me here. How do you, how do you feel about reruns, though, uh, Dale, versus VODs? You know, uh, honestly, I, I've seen zero value out of doing reruns. Um, I, there, when I first got on, though, is when I did reruns. I would be curious okay. to see if I could try to do it again. But, yeah. um, Maybe we'll yeah. do a test. So it's not underneath video producer, my apologies. You actually will go into, um, just a second here. And this tells you how often I've gone in. Yeah, 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 Eileen, you're not too far off. I'm just as confused as you are. Maybe under streaming tools? No, nope, it's not under streaming tools. Yeah. Um, they might have finally killed it. They were talking about... Uh, She's got a link to it. I, well, they got rid of premieres. So I'd almost anticipate that, that eventually they're going to probably get rid of that other feature there. So I went into... Well, no, not necessarily because I know uh, Impact. Impact Wrestling and the Doctor Who and all the, that's they how run those live, that. They run those live, bro. Oh, they, they, they run, run those live. live. Yeah, okay, they, so it's they, got a, they have a server. server that they run okay. that from. So yeah, it might be something that Twitch is eventually going to do away with, Eileen. Hmm. I hate to say it. Yeah, Activity I'll investigate content. that. Um, I highly recommend, uh, Eileen, since you are pretty big here on YouTube, um, use collections. Use collections to your advantage. I know you're usually putting highlights of your stuff. Collections are like playlists on YouTube. So folks, uh, playlists are kind of a way on YouTube that you're able to further index the content that you've created. So it gets it to where you're more searchable. When you put together a playlist or even a collection, what you'll want to do is think about the most sought after word or keyword phrase that you would title that and then enter in all of the videos that are relevant into that collection or playlist. Then it becomes more searchable. So say for instance, you're doing quiplash and you've got a lot of really cool quiplash highlights and such, then go ahead and create a collection of quiplash you know, videos or highlights and here's the cool thing. If nobody's online live doing Quiplash, I'm the type of person I might go and I see a collection or a previous broadcast, I might click on it and take a look at it. Video on demand, it, I, it was something we kind of just brushed over. Uh, with video on demand, uh, it's crazy. So it was a while ago in our last place, about two years ago maybe, that Kelly and I did like an after show party on Twitch. And for some reason, my brother here just decides he's gonna go ahead and poke the bear. Poke the bear. Like I said something and like Kelly just like lost it. She's like, no, don't do that. And of course you created the highlight and decided you're gonna go ahead and put it on Twitter. And it here's the funny thing is, that stinking highlight clip <laughs> got indexed by Google because I was just searching up, just doing my normal, like it's like self-publishing with Dale. And I'm it like, was, it was this, <laughs> this highlight got dozens of views. So I went ahead and I watched it. I'm like, you're kidding me. It got pulled up by freaking Google. 
So much? yeah, so 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 yeah, don't use don't use your clips like if you because you that's the thing you can clip other people. So as a viewer, Dale, I can clip you, and if I go in that description and keyword it just right, so don't use it as a troll. Don't troll other streamers that way. So that was kind of yeah, uh, that. I wouldn't, it was more of an inside joke between Dale and Kelly and I. So I knew they weren't going to get mad about it. They know me. Um, and if they necessarily wanted me to, they would say delete or they could delete it on their end. Um, Eileen but, says she loves those collections. Das V YouTuber, given, given some of the devil horns. Yeah. Um, appreciate you popping on in there and dropping a comment. Um, Beauty Bubble says on Google, one, broadcasting dashboard, two, creator dashboard, three, a video premiere module, which will have the rerun option. Eeks, not so sure. Yeah, yeah, it might, it might be outdated. So Eileen, like I said, I'll do my homework on that part and I'll get back to you on that. Hit you up on Twitter or maybe we'll do a video onto it. I like doing those. Me too, me too. Yes, uh, loving the poop emojis there, Das V. Uh, appreciate the love. That's awesome of you. BD Bubble, yeah, Twitch hasn't updated the instructions. Yeah, they're a little bit behind, but it's not surprising because they are owned by Amazon, and sometimes Amazon just changes things, and they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, by the way, we, we, uh, we're, we'll update it, like, next year. Yeah, yeah. that's just the way they roll. But, uh, hey, bro, uh, we're starting to wrap things up, so, of course, you know what it means. That's the 22nd oh, oh. count. What? 20 second countdown, folks. Here's what you gonna do is come on over here, click this video. In my video, he's pointing towards mine, so that's perfect. <laughs> come on over, it's this one. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, you wanna make sure that you take a look at either one of these videos because we're gonna tell you a little bit more about Twitch. Either one of them, you're gonna win. See you, folks.